Let's say you've got an image and you want to hover over it and zoom in. Element.how, Maxime, has got a really great tutorial and code for that. And you could use add-ons like premium add-ons or stuff as well. However, there is a way you can do it within Elementor for free without any code. And it's so simple. You might go, I did not realize we could do that. We're going to use the call to action widget. So we've dragged it over and you can instantly see we have a title, we got content and we have a button. You probably don't want any of them. But I do want to show you how you can use the call to action in two different ways, all right? You can instantly see over here, it's already got this zoom in effect. Let's just pick an image. I'm going to go for this square image here over here, okay? I've done that on purpose because we the image is cut off at the moment, but we are going to rectify that. If we go for classic, this is how it looks. And we can modify it to have the wording on the left or right and you get the zoom in effect. Or you could go for the cover and this is where you still get the zoom effect, but now the wording is over the image. So if you do want to have wording or buttons or whatever, you could do. Now stay with me on this, all right? Let's go back to the classic just for now. If I go to style, I can adjust the height of the, sorry, let me go back over and put it back like that. If you go to style, I can adjust the height, but that will only adjust the box height. Let's just put this back to be nothing. So it's just standardized. If we go to image, we can adjust the height here as well. So you could, if you want, use this image zoom functionality, but you still have the content. Or you could go over to content, switch just to cover. Okay, make sure it's on full, by the way, for your image resolution. Go to size, and now when you adjust the box height, it's actually adjusting the entire image, not the box that sat below. But what if you don't want the wording? Because look, right now we've got the zoom in effect. How easy and simple is that? Let me show you two things you do need to bear in mind. If we go to content and I delete the content, okay, everything will disappear. And when I mean everything, watch this, everything disappeared. Because there's nothing sat within the box. There's an image, but there's no content whatsoever. So here's the trick. Go to title, and just add in a space. That's all it is, look, I've just added in space. I haven't added in a full stop or the letter N. Just go for a space and that does it. And when we hover, we still get the image. Look, we're still zooming in. Let's go back to the image. We're on a cover. We're gonna go to style. This is where you can start to mess around with your height, pixel, vertical, however you wanna do it. And um, the alignment won't really make much difference. That's more to do with the text inside, which we haven't got. But if you did want it, you could, if you want, have no text and just have the button. Look, we've got a button in there. So you could have a button in there and not have other type of content. Let's just get rid of the button for now. Because what I really want to focus on is we've got the zoom effect. There's no wording in there. We're not using any code or premium plugins or anything like that whatsoever. You can modify the padding and all of that as well. But here's a really, really, really cool thing, okay? We just scroll down to background. If you do the content animation, that affects the button and the wording within which you might wanna have static. We're gonna go for hover animation, the hover animation for the background, okay? And you got zoom in, zoom out, you got move left as well. So look, as we do it, as we hover, it now moves to the left or move up even. So look, right? Uh, and what about zoom out? So now it kind of goes the other way. So you can use this quite to, to some, you can, sorry, let me get this right. There we go, it's zooming in now. So you can use this to be quite versatile in what you want to do. And you can even add in an overlay color as well. So for me, the call to action, whether you go for the classic, which at the minute hasn't got any content in, or if you go for the cover where you could have text over it, is a super easy, simple way of how you could add in a zoom effect for your images on your website with Elementor for free, no plugin, no code. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'll see you soon.